Uh, let me make a quick introduction. Our next speaker is uh, Mr. David Kraus Duran. Uh, he's with uh, Sustainable Energy Europe, and they were one earlier uh, early supporter of our conference, and we appreciate uh, uh, the assistance in, in uh, joining the program and, and uh, uh, being an, an event on within the within Sustainable Energy Europe. So, uh, David. Um, thank you very much, Steve. It's, it's our pleasure to be here. Uh, my name is David Kraus. I represent the European Commission program called Sustainable Energy Europe. Um, I will first, very briefly, as, not, I'm, as I'm not a legal expert, present the EU legal framework on uh, energy efficiency in buildings. Uh, of course, the campaign, the goals, uh, some examples of current partners, and finally, I will just mention some of the official partners from Romania that we have. We, it has been mentioned uh, this morning the importance of energy efficiency, um, and the most, uh, which is the most cost-effective way of cutting greenhouse gas emissions and contributing to sustainability, and uh, one of the main issues: European um, security, energy security. So um, also this figure has been mentioned. The building sector accounts for 40% of EU energy needs. Um, largest single potential for energy efficiency, a lot to be done and uh, a great potential. Um, and more than one fifth of the present energy consumption um, could be saved by 2020. Some of the directive um, I mentioned here, um, please visit EU Lex for more details. Um, and uh, of course, you are probably aware of the climate package, climate change package agreed uh, lately, um, January 2008, um, which uh, specify new targets. Uh, amongst them, 20% of use uh, of renewable energy sources should be reached by 2020, and 20% uh, of energy saving also. Support programs for for uh, this um, this legal framework, uh, intelligent energy Europe uh, from DG Energy and Transport, and within this uh, large founding instrument, we have the European Energy Performance of Buildings, the EPBD Buildings Platform. This is a an initiative of the Commission, of course, uh, which provides information services for practitioners, consultants, experts, energy agencies, and policymakers in order to successfully implement the directive. What are the fields uh, for uh, policy areas, I would say, are included in this program? Energy efficiency, renewable energy sources, clean transport, and biofuels. It was launched in 2005. Um, you will see at the logo in the logo that uh, it goes until 2008, but uh, within the Sustainable Energy Week in January, the Commissioner P uh, Mr. P. Balks, uh made it official that there is a budget to run this program until 2010. What are the objective of this program is to identify projects uh, in sustainable energy across Europe and increase their visibility at the EU level. Of course, it has been mentioned, one big issue is to raise awareness, and this is one of the main goals, raise awareness of decision makers and public opinion for an increase in the production and use of renewables, stimulate an increase in private investment in sustainable energy technologies, but also in energy efficiency in buildings. Um, it was very interesting uh, this, since this morning to hear all these uh, private companies which uh, invest and make a market transformation a reality. So of course, uh, Sustainable Energy Europe wishes to contribute to the EU policy, energy policy targets, improve EU energy security, and to combat climate change. This is uh, the organizational structure of the campaign. What is the structure? Um, as you see on the top, there are energy days and campaign events, and we are in one of them. We collaborate because we offered to Sopolek the, the, the opportunity to promote their Congress and to increase the visibility of this Congress at the EU level. What I'm in charge of is of the official partner section. So I'm here to identify ongoing projects and to invite those which are implementing them to become uh, official partners of the Sustainable Energy Europe campaign. And I had the pleasure to listen this morning already to, to, to some of them which could potentially join. Uh, examples of, of, 
sustainable buildings uh, being built and, and managed in Europe um, could join the campaign. We have four eligibility criteria. The objectives and areas, which I believe we all agree, uh, we can, you can have a look at the, at the, at the website, but it's of course in, increasing the visibility, working to build a sustainable Europe. Mainly it's that projects must be ongoing, projects must have financial support. We identified projects and the Commission raised them as best examples, so we need an action plan, um, a budget, uh, concrete steps which will be taken to implement this project in order to say, well, this is an example to, follow, to be followed. So I, I, I choose some examples uh, for you uh, to have a, a better idea of what kind of official partners uh, are already part of this uh, EC program. This was uh, a project uh, which I generally present because it was the, the winner of Sustainable Energy Communities in the Laris Awards. But I, I keep it here because uh, it's, there is a, a great dimension, of, as you see, uh, on energy efficiency in buildings. This is specifically uh, on uh, energy efficiency in public buildings, a project from Fedesco, Belgium, together with public authorities. They establish uh, professional energy services, financial services, in order to increase the energy performance and energy savings in all Belgium uh, federal buildings. This is an example that, uh, for example, um, I'm not aware, but that's also why, why this program is here, of what Bucharest and the municipality is really doing um, in, 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 that, in uh, energy efficiency in buildings. That could be an example to follow. And this is a project from Austria, which is, uh, the scope is larger than uh, only energy efficiency in buildings, but they integrate that. They push uh, com private companies to consider uh, energy efficiency in their own buildings. Why uh, to become an official partner of Sustainable Energy Europe? The concrete benefits will be that uh, projects receive an official certificate of best practice of the European Commission. They receive the, the, the right to use exclusively the logo, which you see in all the slides on the top left. You automatically, your project, if you have an initiative which you consider innovative, if you are the best in building uh, sustainable and green shopping centers, um, you can maybe present your project and win an award. Um, and of course, like 50 specialized media are in Brussels for that. You will receive the award from the commissioner, which might increase your already big credibility in your um, professional field. And you participate also more actively, the possibility at least uh, into the Sustainable Energy Week by organizing a conference. You want to promote what you're doing. You call us, you will have a stand, you can organize a conference and we'll help you promoting your event, of course. Long-term benefits, you enter a European network of sustainable energy actors, you improve your business development possibility, you improve your lobbying position towards EU and other financial institutions and improving your negotiating power for fundraising. And these are the figures right now. We have 400, actually we have 454 partners, uh, but I only had the time to encode 444 because, because I, I'm not in Brussels it's the, for the last two weeks. And uh, Romania has six partners, um, two of them directly related to energy efficiency in buildings. I will mention, as part of the promotion support we provide, um, a private company called Case Passive uh, from Romania, which um, falls within the promotional communication and educational actions by um, raising awareness on passive houses. Another interesting project is um, the promotion of the Intelligent Energy Building Plan um, in Romania by a private company called CS Dialog, com SRL. Documentation informa information packages, consultancy services, public awareness campaign are a part of the actions of one of the Romanian partners. And the City Council of Braila also uh, joined the Sustainable Energy Network through um, an information efficiency and integration of energy efficiency in buildings campaign. So I hope you, you have more or less a picture. It's, it's not a financial tour, it's the promotional instrument of Intelligent Energy Europe. It's a 
voluntary commitment between sustainable energy actors. We have common goals. We have the aim to reach, to, to join the efforts. And how to become, it's just by filling in an application form. We need a brief description of what your project is about. Remember that projects must be ongoing. Other parts and sections of the application form include monitoring instruments, um, your contact details, your action plan, your project budgets, your financial sources. The next evaluation, so it's an ongoing project, at least until 2010. You can send your application at any time. However, there are evaluation committee deadlines and meetings. So I invite you to uh, go to sustenergy.org or to send an email to my DC at sustenergy.org address in order to have the application form in Word document. It might be easier for you. The next deadline is the 12th of May. Within less than a month, you can enter this network and see your project published. Thank you very much for your attention and hope that through this promotion, Romania will be uh, more represented, even though it's doing well within new member states. The goal is to increase the partnerships of EU uh, 12. Thank you very much for your attention.